Thank you, Ned. We'll also new this morning, lead levels in the air around Republic Steel in Canton went above what is considered safe for neighborhoods. We told you months ago about air violations from the plant. The state's EPA even ordered the plant to stop making some products. We saw us make sure looking into the latest concerns. So, Meg, what is the worry here? Well, for the plant, if they have readings of air quality levels that are above a certain number, uh, they may be forced to stop production of this leaded steel, which of course means they're losing money. So that's a huge concern for them. Now, since Republic Steel was found in violation, the EPA has required daily air quality readings from the factory smokestacks, monitoring its lead and emissions levels. The deal here, if those levels are higher than where they should be, the company must take action immediately to fix the problem. Now, Republic is the only company here in Ohio that makes leaded steel, and they've been doing it for about 50 years. But we have found more than 50 violations in the last 20 years, forcing them to pay about $4 million to separate agencies, whether federal or state. Now, those living around this plant here in Canton, they've also been concerned with air quality levels, saying that it's causing cancer. But a study was conducted, and there is no cancer cluster in the 13 miles that surrounds this plant. Live in Canton, Meg Shaw, News 5.